Hi, my name is Solon, and welcome to another American Rod Shop video. Tonight's video, I've got for you 10 awesome hot rod cars found in the Deep South USA. Some of these cars are expensive, some of them are affordable, but all of them are fun to look at and talk about. Also, don't forget to check out our other great videos. There are still a lot of good cars for sale in those videos, especially the ones that's been posted in the last month. So be sure to check those out as well. And don't forget that the links to the cars for sale in this video can be found in the video's description. All you have to do is click on that link and it'll take you straight to that ad where that car is at for sale. And if you haven't done so yet, be sure to like, subscribe, and share. And don't forget to turn on that notification bell. You want to be one of the first ones to get notified when these upcoming videos drop then you'll have early access over to the ads located in the video's description and possibly find the car of your dreams tonight's commentary question is this from what era do you prefer hot rods and why 1950s 1960s 1970s drop your answer in the comments for fun and we'll see what everybody's got to say okay let's go ahead and get things started with number one 1923 Ford Model T listed in Georgia. No town listed, so you have to check this one out. For $12,000. Now the mileage is unlisted. says it has automatic transmission. The exterior color is orange and the interior color is black. The seller is the third owner and it has a clean title. Seller's description is as follows. 1923 Ford T bucket is a blast from the past having been built in the 1970s. The windshield wipers are hand operated. Has a rebuilt 400 with 350 automatic transmission. Real 1923 chassis and other parts. Speedway tampered tube rear coil spring and a single spring front. 1940 Ford front end with all new brakes. Has a new fuel system, new tank, new electric fuel pump, new all lines and rubber new valve covers and it has a B&M shifter it starts runs and drives great and is very fast holly carbs on an intake riser new electric starter and distributor drive it home title is clean twelve thousand dollars or best offer this nice little 1923 Ford Model T number two 1940 Chevrolet sedan delivery listed in Equality, Alabama for $24,500. Now it's just been driven over 100,000 miles. Has automatic transmission. The exterior color is green and the interior color is gray. Has a clean title. Seller's description says this 1940 Chevrolet sedan delivery street rod has a 350 motor with a 350 transmission. Heat and AC both work great. Has a Mustang two front suspension. It runs and drives as it should. It is a good cruiser to take to any rod show or cruise in. It is an older custom build, but a little freshening up would take it to the next level. Sorry, no trades, 24,500 or best offer. Number three, 1934 Ford pickup listed in Ponchatoula, Louisiana for $22,000. That says it's been driven 3,000 miles since it was built, has automatic transmission, the exterior color is gray, and the interior color is brown. The builder 
is the seller and is the first owner of this build. It has a clean title. Seller's description says this 1934 Ford Street Rod is an all steel body truck. It has a 327 Chevy with three deuces and hooked up to an automatic transmission. Everything is freshly built and this little truck is fast. Nice custom interior that complements the paint and the new wooden bed. Runs and drives great and is a real head turner. $22,000 of best offer for this sharp 1934 Ford pickup. Number 4. 1967 Ford Galaxy 500 Fastback, listed in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, for $10,000. This is a 1967 Ford Galaxy with a 390 FE engine, new battery, alternator, water supply, and power steering. It starts and runs. The air conditioner does not function. There is minimal paint chips, no rust, disc brakes. It takes regular gas. It uh, could be inspected, it is not currently. Uh, it's got um, six seats, two doors, bench seats, everything functions as intended, and uh, it starts and runs great. Here, I'll demonstrate that here. That says it's been driven 120,000 original miles, has automatic transmission, the exterior color is red, and the interior color is black, and the seller is the third owner. Seller's description goes as follows, 1967 Galaxy 500 Fastback, 390 FV V8 with the Fordomatic automatic transmission. Runs great, starts great, and stops. Has disc brakes, no rust, some bondo in minor areas has a clean title has new original style interior the paint is three years old but still very glossy good glass and chrome and everything electrical works ac needs some work to be back going good will burn rubber if you slam on the gas regular gas is fine no trades ten thousand dollars or best offer and guys i give this one my best deal seal Number 5, 1932 Ford Coupe listed in Huntsville, Alabama for $48,000. Now it says it's been driven just over 100,000 miles. It has automatic transmission. The exterior color is white and the interior color is beige. The seller is the original builder and the first owner of this build. Seller's description is as follows. This car has turned heads since day one and wins at every show. Has a Ford 302 engine with a C4 automatic transmission. The body is fiberglass formed by hand and rests on a two by three tubed frame. Has a Mustang Z frame nine inch Ford rear end has an E303 camshaft with polished zoomies. Dual carbs. Polished blower. The custom interior is hand stitched. Has American racing rims with tires by Mickey Thompson. Many more features that are just too many to list. Go to the ad and check it out. 48000 or best offer. And I wanted to mention the American Rod Shop store. You can find the links to it over in the description. There you can find t-shirts, mugs, mouse pads, posters, and much more items. And all the profits go back into the 
channel and is a great way to support the channel. Okay guys and gals, I didn't tell anyone I was giving this away until this video, but I am giving away this 1963 Hot Rods comic book in fairly good condition. It comes with bag and a board, will look great on a man cave or garage, or just in a personal collection of Hot Rod memorabilia. If you want to win this, it's absolutely free. I've only got one to give away. These comic books are extremely hard to find, and this one's valued at about $20. To win it absolutely free, all you got to do is drop the word comic book in the comments and you'll be entered in to win. I'll announce the winner in the next upcoming video, so stay tuned for that. And now, let's get back to the video. Number 6, 1957 Chevy 210 Delivery Wagon. Listed in Coker, Alabama for $42,500. Now the mileage is unlisted, but it says it has automatic transmission, the exterior color is black, and the interior color is black. Seller's description is as follows. This beautiful car is an attention getter. Rare double VIN government issued car. Has a 350 engine with a 200R overdrive transmission. Has power steering and power brakes. Has vintage heat and AC. It's been given a two inch drop kit has deep gloss black paint really sets this car off has vintage bluetooth radio and lots more too much to list she's a must see you can get in and drive her anywhere serious inquiries only forty two thousand five hundred a best offer for this 1957 chevy 210 sedan delivery wagon this is most definitely one of my dream cars on my dream car list to own one day so I give this one my Editor's Choice Award. Number 7. 1936 Chevrolet Master Deluxe Coupe listed in Dunedin, Florida for $16,999. And that's only been driven 9,000 miles since it was started built. Has automatic transmission. The exterior color is black and the interior color is gray. Seller's description says this, this coupe runs and drives anywhere. Has a 1936 Chevy all steel body. The engine has been bored 0 .040 over and it's a 350 Chevy engine attached to a rebuilt 700R automatic transmission. It has a 9 inch forward rear axle with coil over suspension. Has rack and pinion steering. Has four wheel disc brakes. The radio works and it has tilt steering column, but the air conditioner needs to be finished on out. Has bucket seats with a clean Florida title. Serious inquiries only, $16,999 or best offer for this nice little Chevy Coupe. Number 8. 1952 Chevrolet 3100 panel truck listed in Titusville, Florida for $33,500. That's only been driven 600 miles since it was built. Has automatic transmission. The exterior color is orange and the interior color is black. Seller's description says this, chopped and Frenched 52 Chevy panel truck 3100 model. Has a new crate 350 motor made in the USA with a 350 transmission. Has Borla stainless exhaust with headers. Just about everything new has been finished out, topped off with a fresh poppy red paint job. Has a super straight body, has a reconditioned undercarriage, 
has new instruments, new wiring, and new AC. Has the I Did It tilt steering column, new glass, new floor shift, new brakes and lines, new shocks, etc. Interior, high-end quality, complete lizard skin seating, hand-stitched. Alpine Stereo CD and GPS in dash. Dries very sweet, has good power and handling with a nice rumble. A unique and special Chevy panel truck, 33500 a best offer. And guys, this thing is really beautiful. I like it a lot. Number 9, 1934 Ford three-window coupe, listed in Byram, Mississippi, for $45,000. Now, it says that the body was built by Roy Brizzo Hot Rod Shop. It's a chopped Gibbons 1934 fiberglass body with gloss ink black paint. It has a 1949 through a 1953 Merc 24 boat flathead with B&M street blower. has a GM throttle and body injection system. Has C4 transmission, has independent front suspension, has a 9 inch Lincoln disc brake rear end with 2.70 gears, 4 link, and coilovers. Four wheel vacuum assist disc brakes, it has a 1944 dash with moon eye gauges, has vintage air and heat, has Kenwood AM FM CD player, Bluetooth, paint and interior are in very good shape. Drives and rides good, and the engine was rebuilt in 2018. 45000 or best offer for this beautiful little coupe. Man, time flies when you're looking at these beautiful cars, and here we are at number 10. 1930 Ford Model A, listed at Eglin Air Force Base in Florida for $47,000. It has 14,785 miles on it since it's been built, has manual transmission, the exterior color is blue, and the interior color is beige, and it has a clean title. Seller's description is as follows, 1930 Ford Model A hot rod truck, all steel Ford body, has a chopped top, a 302 Ford HO engine, Ford Motorsport F303 roller cam, three deuces on tuned Edelbrock 5412 intake, Tremec World Class TS transmission, has a Lincoln 9 inch Posi rear end, has Brookville 32 Ford frame, has a TCI rear four link suspension, has Alden coilover adjustable rear shocks and traction bars, many, many more items, too many to list, but it does have nostalgia wheels, Coker white wall tires. Custom Baby Moon hubcaps with old Krager spinners, has electric windows, power AM FM CD, and the truck does have a top steel hood painted to match the body. List of items is incredible. Please check out the ad. Runs and drives like a dream. $47,000 or best offer for this beautiful 1930 Ford Model A hot rod.
Let's check it out, guys. It is beautiful. Well, all right, we've reached the end of another American Rod Shop video. This one's in the wraps. And listen, guys, I appreciate, and you gals too, each and every one of you tuning in and watching. I thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share if you haven't done so yet. Uh, fastly approaching our 100th video. Going to do some giveaways during that 100th video. So if you will, hit that notification bell so when this video drops, you'll get a chance to win some of those items. Don't forget to check out other great videos. They got good cars in them as well. Still for sale. God bless each and every one. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.